Welcome to Electron Online and for those who did not like the method I did on the previous several videos on how to balance oxidation and reduction reactions using the method I used in the previous video, we have a different method right here. It's called the ion electron method and it's different in the way that we take our original reaction and we write it as two half reactions then we balance out each of the half reactions then we recombine them, balance them one more time and that should also give us the final answer that we're looking for. So watch what we do here. So step number one, we take our original base equation and write it as two half reactions. So here we have the iron ion at the plus two state and here at the plus three state. So the equation will read as follows. Iron two plus changes to iron three plus. That's obviously not balanced. It's balanced as far as iron is concerned, but not as far as the oxidation number is concerned. But we'll worry about that later. The second half equation then will uh, start with the chromate ion. So this is a chromium 2 oxygen 7 at a 2 minus state. So that's the chromate ion. And that then changes into the chromium ion at a 3, uh, three plus state. And that's obviously not balanced because we have chromium on both sides. We have two of them here, only one of them there. Seven oxygens, no oxygen. So this is far from being balanced at this point. Okay, the first thing they want to do is once you write them as half reactions, you want to balance the two equations using uh, water, hydroxide ion, and hydrogen ions to balance out the oxygen and the hydrogen. So on the first equation, we don't have to do anything, but the second equation knows we have seven oxygens, which means we need seven oxygens on the right side. That's one way to do that would be to simply add seven waters, so seven H2Os on the right side. Now oxygen is balanced, but hydrogen is not. Now we have 14 hydrogens on the right side. We need 14 hydrogens on the left side. So let's add 14 hydrogens like this. And now we're balanced, at least from a perspective of chromium, oxygen, hydrogen, but not as far as the oxidation number. So now let's balance the oxidation numbers using additional electrons. So starting with the first equation, here we have iron at two plus, here we have iron at three plus, it's been um, oxidized, so to balance this out from an oxidation number perspective, we have to add one additional electron. So one negative charge to this gives us the same oxidation number on both sides of the equation. So I have to do the same on the right, on the second equation, but now before we do that, let's find out what the oxidation numbers are for chromium here and chromium there. Well, there it's easy. Uh, we have this as a three plus. Um, and uh, for chromium here, notice that this oxygen has to be at minus 2 and of course on the oxidation numbers we like to put the negative of the plus, positive sign first. So that's the plus 3, that's the negative 2. That's how we can separate it from the overall charge on the ion and the oxidation number. So that's why we write a plus first for the oxidation number and a 3 plus there for the uh, charge on the ion itself. Here we have this uh, minus 2 times 7 is a minus 14. Let's write that down. The overall charge on the ion is a 2 minus, which means we need plus 12 charges over here. Since there's two chromions, we, mean, we know then that this has to be at a plus 6 oxidation state. 2 times plus 6 gives us plus 12, and plus 12 minus 14 gives us a minus 2. So that way we know the correct oxidation number for chromium there. Okay. Uh, but now we want to have them balanced with electrons. Let's add up all the oxidation numbers on the right, on the left side and on the right side and see what we get. So over here we have 14 positive charges. Um, here we have 12 positive charges. Here we have minus 14 negative charges. So 14 minus right there. Okay, those are the oxidation numbers on the left side. Uh, all this adds up to a plus 12. And on the right side of the equation, well, before we can balance the right side, notice that we only have, that we have one chromium here and two chromiums there, so we definitely need a two over here to balance that out. So here we can see that we have two times three or a plus six on the right side, and of course this is neutral because we have 14 positive charges and, and uh, 14 negative charges from the oxygen. The oxidation numbers here are plus one and minus two, so that's balanced out, so plus zero. On the left side, it's plus 12. On the right side is plus six. So we're obviously not balanced. There's six additional positive charges on the left side, which means I need to add six more electrons on the left side to balance that out. So if I then uh, subtract minus six from that, I have a, so that would be a plus six, 
to a plus 6. So now you can see that the second equation is balanced as well as far as the oxidation numbers are concerned. We did that by adding 6 electrons here. Now the next step is we're going to combine the two equations. Now we need to again balance the two out. All right, so let's do that. Let me get rid of this so we have a little bit more room. Now notice before I want to add the two together, here I have six electrons on the left side and only have one electron on the right side over there. I should have six electrons on the right side so when I add the two equations together, the electrons will be balanced on both sides. So one way to do that is to multiply everything here by six so that the electrons will be balanced. So I can put a six here, a six there, and a six there. Now, if I add the two sides together, I will have six electrons on the right side, six electrons on the left side, so the electrons will be balanced, and I did not change anything here in this equation. So now this equation becomes six electrons plus 14 hydrogens plus the dichromate ion, uh, two minus plus six irons at the two plus state. I end up with six irons at the three plus state and I have six electrons and I have two chromium ions at the three plus state and seven water molecules. All right, I now added the two equations together. Notice I have six electrons here and six electrons there. They will cancel out. And now what's remaining should be a balanced equation because the two equations were balanced before I started out. So we can do that by verifying and we verify that by adding all the oxidation numbers together and see what we get. So here we have 14 positive charges. Remember that chromium here had a plus 6 oxidation number, so it would be plus 12. Here we had uh, 7 oxygens, that's at minus 14. Uh, 6 irons at 2 plus, that would be uh, uh, plus 12, because the oxidation number of this one, of course, would be plus 2. On the right side, we have six iron ions at three plus, that would be 18. Here we have two uh, chromine, uh, chromine uh, ions, uh, two times a plus three, that would be plus six. And of course, the water is balanced out. Okay, let's add up everything together and let's hope that the left side equals the right side. So here we have 14 minus 14, they cancel out. 12 plus 12 is 24. And on the right side, 18 plus six is 24. And that is balanced, which means this equation right here is the balanced form of this equation. So we know now that we have all the oxidation numbers balanced on both sides of the equation. We have all the hydrogens balanced, all the oxygens balanced, all the iron balanced, and all the chromine, uh, chromine ions balanced. So we're in good shape. This is how you balance the equation. Quick review. Start with your basic equation split up into two half reactions. First, you balance the half reactions out. You use water, hydroxide ion, and hydrogen ions in order to accomplish that. On the first equation, we didn't have to do anything, but the second equation, we had to add water on the right side because we have to balance this oxygen, and then add hydrogen on the left side to balance this additional hydrogen on the right side. At that point, you want to make sure you add enough electrons to either side of the equation to balance out the oxidation numbers. You then add the two equations together. Of course, before you do that, you want to make sure that you end up with the same number of electrons on the left side as you do on the right side so they can cancel out. In order to do that, we have to multiply everything here by 6 so that we have a 6 electrons on the right side here, 6 electrons on the left side. Then when you add both sides of the equations together, the electrons drop out and the rest of the equation should be balanced. Do a quick check to make sure that it is. So you might like this method better. Try both and see which you want to like better. If you like this one better, this is pretty good. Then use this one.